Yo, what's going on guys? Black Halo here. Today I am going to be teaching you guys how to play Udyr. Basically carry your team from behind whenever they decide to start intentionally feeding AFK. And you guys know what the deal is in solo queue nowadays. People do whatever they want to do. And the matchups we have for today are Heimerdinger versus Shin top lane. Udyr in the jungle versus Evelyn. Cassiopeia versus Ken in mid. Twitch versus Ash and Janna versus Alistar. As you can see, I'm getting brought a bit low here, but what I'm making sure to do every single time I smack that camp, as you guys can see, was make sure every every single third proc was in Phoenix and getting my my AOE, my fan off, just like that. And then I alternate back into turtle stance. I also just get my three camp full clear and then go over to my red buff. Obviously, if it's a threat towards my red, I will prioritize it instead of getting my wolf camp here and I'll drop a ward on it usually earlier on into the game I'd ask maybe a top laner to drop a ward on here that's what you guys want to do make sure your buffs are all safe and as you can see I believe yeah I, I spotted Evelyn up here and I went ahead and used that information to my advantage and took this raptor camp away from her and as you guys can see I'm heading towards the top side of the map and my red buff is up so me stealing that raptor camp was really good but what I should have did was just go path towards my own jungle grab my buff and then go towards her bot side of the jungle as you can see she just ganked my mid laner got first blood I thought she would be top side but no I actually knew that she didn't go into my jungle because I checked her character info I clicked her champion and saw that her red buff cinder her crest was not fresh so that's just something to keep in mind you know their team comp basically counters me before I even got into this game I, I saw that they had a lot of CC they had Alistar, Kennen, Shin, whenever somebody would get low, Shin just, you know, teleports onto him and he ends up saving their ass. So, Evelyn is just ganking lanes, ganking lanes and getting her lanes ahead. So, I just need to be mindful of that and try to counter jungle her whenever she's showing on the opposite side of the map. So, basically, since she's top side, I am going into her bot side jungle and taking her wolves and her gromp away from her. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to try to gank bot or anything like that right now either because basically Twitch is too low. They wouldn't be able to do anything but follow up and die if I ganked that lane. So it's just important to get yourself ahead in level. So what you don't want to do in times like this when everybody's going down is uh, fall behind. So whenever you see a lane pushing, as you can see, I mid lane died. I went to cover that lane, bot lane back, so I'm covering this, even though it's like 3 or 4 CS, maybe a little bit more, I can still just stack that experience, the more the better that you can get, just take what you can, and if it's free just like that, then go ahead and soak it up. So I'm finally getting my red buff here, I highly recommend not to do that, <laughs> you, you can learn off of me from this game, that's one of the, one of the only real mistakes I made early game was get red that late so as you can see the goal we have in the bank right now I have 2k I farmed up basically to get my bomby cinder I picked up what else did I pick up I got a ward and my hunter's machete so really I just prioritized that extra burn clearing camps with this new cinder hulk I'm not too sure which patch it got updated to deal more damage in the jungle versus camps but it's so good when you get this item you don't even need extra damage you can just by maybe if you really are ahead and you want to get some damage you could get a dark seal on top of this and then just get Bammy Cinder you'll be doing a lot of damage to jungle camp so you'll clear very quickly so you'll just be able to excel in levels and even with Bammy Cinder on top of your whole build you can still fight enemy junglers you can still have a very high dueling potential with skirmishers so as you can see bot lane is overextending and they weren't aware of the enemy team coming down there in a four man gank them basically so what I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of them being bot what they're gonna do now is not even push to the turret which they could have was well, it's a full HP turret but I just rewind it on accident but basically I'm taking a rep buff while they're getting earth dragon so whenever the enemy team is able to get maybe a kill or a maybe some type of an objective or something like that I'm just sure to be in the right place at the right time or across the map and just taking a buff or taking something else to try to equal out what happened because when it comes to them having this early advantage 
and I tried to gank this, and it did not work out at all. The, the bomb missed. And it, we could have killed him if the stun hit, but it didn't, so it's whatever. I'm not gonna worry about that. But what I do want is Rift Trail ASAP. And, uh, yeah, they're killing Cassie up here again. There's nothing I can do about this. The only thing I can do is hold this lane. And that's really all you really want to do. Right here, I'm just trying to drop some... Just try to trade back with them, drop some damage. Let them know I'm about business. Let them know. Dodge in the ass, era Because we're not just going to let them come over here and try to smack this mid turret for free. So just holding these lanes. Make sure you don't lose first turret for no reason. And trying to get to your first turret and taking it from them. That extra gold really helps out. And the only thing you can really do in this situation, like I said, is just try to farm up counter jungle as much as possible. Counter jungling is very important and just getting out alive and safely and doing it whenever you see fit or not see fit. Whenever you see it, there's a there's a chance to. Probably gonna try to back here. Oh well, Yeah, I'm not too sure. Let's see what happens. So, oh, okay, I decided to get a bit more CS on the tower. You know, not much, but I'm willing to take that. Just to try to get as many levels as possible to try to beat this Kennen. This Kennen is the most fed on the enemy team. As you can see, all he's doing is just getting kills. So, this is the guy I need to beat. Or prioritize to try and beat and be ahead of. So, she just took a free tower shot. So, I'm, I'm definitely going to be able to hold this way with ease. Whenever you see somebody just kind of end up lacking under the turret like that, or they try to push up to it. You see any mistake they make, be sure to capitalize on it. Stare at them, run at them. Be sure to, you know, back them up off your shit because that's this is what you want. So. I see Kaz coming over to lane. I could have started my red buff right now, but I just wanted to drop a bit more presence and also wanted a little bit more CS. So I'll take that. Go ahead and leave her alone. I knew Evelyn wasn't anywhere near here. Yeah, she's topside, so... Just keeping tabs on the enemy jungler as well is very important. Say if you are able to get an early kill on her or just get a lot of early CS. Like, I, I'm doubling her CS. Even though she has three kills, three assists, if you can just know when you're ahead of them and know when to do things around the map and just engage, you will be fine. And you don't even have to, like, prioritize just smacking the enemy jungler. You can just know where you're at with them and just know... <laughs> they shouldn't be messing with you at certain certain points of the game and prioritize on destroying their laners That's something about jungling. You don't have to just necessarily like make the enemy jungler go 0-8 because it's fun Addicting but at the end of the day you want to make sure you're gonna be able to drive it down from every single lane and make sure You can get objectives with ease and if you can deny the enemy team as much leads as possible then that's all you need to do scenarios like this but that's why I like playing from behind it's, it's weird I don't know why I like playing from behind so much I mean recently in okay let me go over this, I, this is, I made a small mistake it was some greed but I was sure to like I'm nowadays I'm just sure to realize when I'm greeting too hard so I went ahead and hit ghost I did not want her to flash there I thought Cassio up here was just gonna drop her ult straight up I was like, why didn't you drop your ult? Like, that should have slowed her down or maybe thunder or something like that. But I was like, fuck it, I'm going ahead and I'm diving this. And, yeah, I get the kill. I didn't see Kennen roaming up, so I ended up going down. So, all in all, that's not worth. I got a little kill out of it. Used my summoner. Got Evelyn's flash. That's the main thing you want to take note of is when you take their flash like that because when Evelyn doesn't have flash with her summoner she didn't bring it night or anything so she's not really much of a threat to me dueling at all so now it's a good time to just team fight team fighting is something you can do when you know what the enemy team has going for them and comps are a part of this I'm gonna be making more videos on team compositions their builds and what items they have and team fighting is really just how you can succeed with Udyr at this point in the meta he's really strong right now in my opinion but I think that if you're able to just get tanky and provide a lot for your team in fights you can just destroy people and you can 1v5 once you get tanky enough so yeah <laughs> it's simple as that but I'm gonna go ahead and 
be sure to break it down even more. As you can see, the reason why I'm taking all these freaking red buffs away from her is simply because it snowballs me. Whenever I have double buffs spinning around me, I'm, I'm as strong as I'll ever be. And I see Kenan pushing up to my mid turret, and he's this low. We are the same level, so I'm at a really good point in the game right now. I'm really fed. I don't even have much on me. I'm killing the death. But right now, I can, I'm can i confident when it comes to 1v1ing him with the Skirmisher Smite. Skirmisher, Skirmisher Smite is meta this season, in this, season, this patch. 7.11 is so good on him. So I'm just fighting within my main wave so Kennen isn't able to land a Q onto me. And really, they aren't able to do anything against me. Simple as that. I can 1v2 mid lane right now. Even Cassie, even though Cassiopeia is intent, <laughs> intentionally feeding, it doesn't matter because they're not doing what they need to do to snowball their lead. And I, I'm a person who notices stuff like that. So right now, I notice that nobody's really trying to prioritize this Rift card. I don't see much focus onto this. I'm in my head. What I'm thinking right now is like, well, basically, I don't see anybody trying to drop a ward or anything on like that. Like. Evelyn was low, uh, it was worth a shot to do this, even if she did come over here to try to invis smite, because Rift Herald is Rift Herald, we can use the turret advantage right now, because at this point in the game, our mid turret is really, really, really low, and if I were to lose this right now, I would hate it, I really wouldn't want to lose this turret right now, but the thing is, is if we're able to just capitalize on the next time the enemy puts maybe four bots or if they all try to group and kill and kill Heimerdinger that's the worst thing they can do especially going top lane yeah you don't want to do that I don't think they even decide to do that but just giving that example just knowing the game and knowing where you are in the map and what objectives you can take that's something you got to keep in mind another Ash Arrow barely clipping barely clipping Cassio there so yeah free Rift Hero just like that And yeah, I'm looking to do dragon here. Dragon is free right now. I know, like right now, I know I'm super strong. Level 10, and I'm basically able to compete with the 6-0 mid laner. So I'm not gonna drop a smite here. I, and Evelyn, I had a feeling Evelyn was right here. So really, this isn't the best fight for us right now because Twitch got focused down, and then he comes through and gets taunted, and then Kenan is able to run through and then just destroy my bot lane right there. So it's five champions on top of me right now are tracing me so they basically dropped everything on my bot lane so I'm fortunate about that they did kill him but who cares we got the dragon and I was able to get out of there so if you're able to survive in a situation like this and we got Cassiopeia pushing mid she could have followed but really at this point like 06 she's better off pushing the lane and providing this pressure because what I'm doing right here is I'm dragging everybody away from this low ass HP mid tart because I do not want to risk dropping this or losing this thing. If like this is what I want them to do right now, I want them to chase me more. So I'm back in here. I got the Eye of the Herald or whatever the thing is called. Unfortunately, we are not able to hold this turret, but we allow the Heimerdinger to get to top lane. So we got first turret. So just from delaying them that much and diverting their attention. And stopping, I'm stopping their backs too. I'm just wasting their time. And they don't realize what, what's happening right now. So, another Ash arrow coming in. Let's see if it hits any of them. Holy, I bet this Ash is on tilt. <laughs> this Ash has got to be on tilt. So, yeah, right now I'm really not even worried. It's 5v15 though. A lot of people would be worried, maybe thinking that the game is over. But the game is not over. So like I said before, you can see Kenan coming down here bot. It's only two people down here, just about lane. We got Cassiopeia right here as well. So this is not a good idea for Kenan to be roaming down here right now. He should just go back mid and try to kill Cassio again. He shouldn't be trying to go bot and dive this. Yeah, he's coming back mid. So I'm getting my, I don't know how many times I've stole red buff from this freaking Evelyn, but I'm going to do it again. And I see her bot lane. And instead of going to her red buff and stealing that, 
what I'm gonna do is I see Cassiopeia going down there and Kenan is probably gonna follow as well so what I'm gonna do is spawn this since they all decided to goon squad bot again like I was talking about earlier and if you have Rift Herald on top of you this is all you gotta do just drive it down just when it, you realize when they're messing up and positioning at the wrong place at the wrong time on the map and this is free for us so Kenan tries to come through and it starts to get destroyed. I don't know what he was thinking. I guess he thinks that he can 1v1 me at this point, which he can't. So he got Shen coming to TP. It's okay. I gotta back off here. Rift Hero was able to do around half HP to that turret. Evelyn came through to try to drop some more damage and kill me, but it does not work. I was thinking about going back in here, but nah, I'm not gonna get greedy right now. Greed is something that oh wow we got another turret bot lane too while we diverted their attention so really they can't keep up with the pressure that we're dropping on the map here they really can't like some they they might have the kill advantage in the kill lead but they do not have what they need to close out this game so i almost killed evelyn there really unfortunate i was, I was actually salty about this i'm not even gonna lie here guys i was salty i wanted to kill this evelyn because i'd 100 be able to get this red right after so there they're gonna contest this red. And the team fight breaks out. A team fight. Let's just see how this goes. We have Kenan getting focused down. He almost died. However, we got Ash focusing down our mid laner here. And he hits R and he hits Zion as soon as that happens. So Twitch goes down in that process. We barely we I mean yeah, I could have it's questionable too, because Shin was on my ass. I could have went over there and helped him, but Shin was like really focusing me over here so it's not much I could have did to help them and we barely lost that timer thing is just missing everything <laughs> but we, we actually got the ass so it's not too bad and we're doing a lot of damage to these guys I'm, just, I'm tanking so much here Janet is doing so much in this fight to keep us alive and people are just barely getting out like barely surviving and that's why I was like kind of salty. I was like, oh wow, these guys all got out with zero HP. But it's whatever. They're running out of my jungle. Go ahead, get out. I got another Janna shield. Not even worried about going down. But she should be. <laughs> so, basically they're all super low. Red buff is still up. And I'm very good at sustaining. But the only thing is, is that I don't have smite to secure this buff. So... Nobody else was coming over here to get this, so I just realized that, oh yeah, I can just smack it a couple times and take it for myself. So, that was not a good team fight for us, but at the end of the day, I didn't die, which is the main important thing. You don't want to die, and you were able to get a buff out of that too, so really, it wasn't bad. And Cassiopeia is getting caught over here again. I'm, I'm running over here, I can't really do much. It's like three chances on top of her. Nothing I can do, but she did get out. That's great. That's actually really good that she got out. So Inferno Drake is spawning right now. So what I'm sh I'm gonna do is obviously pick. Oh, this is, this is Earth. So I'm just sure to pick this up. So Earth is very important to get. So we see we see Alistar in the jungle here. Not. My positioning and targeting was off this fight, but I really wasn't worried about my team. I was trying to cut them off. Actually, no, I'm I'm actually talking about something else. So you gotta, you guys are gonna see when we actually had another fight around this area. Oh, here it is, right here. So what I could have did was just run up here to my Twitch. I should have just ran over there to my Twitch. I think I did this before. I think I got a bad habit of running around when I want to cut somebody off. Yeah, so I'm just running up. I'm being useless right there, but really, I just gave them no options to escape. I'm pretty sure they saw me and they they knew that I was blocking off their path. But a lot of the times, if you do stuff like that, you you will be, get punished for it. So I recommend just running to your team, like I should have did, like I said. So. Just a little small mistake that enemy enemy wasn't able to capitalize on. Meanwhile, we got Heimerdinger pushing this away. Me and Heim, we were already talking about this game. Just trying to push lanes and pressure. And that's what we're doing. And they can't keep up with it. Pressure wins games. So, what I decided to buy here, let's see how much gold I had in the bank. I'm pretty sure I had all. Yeah, I just really, actually, yeah. I really wanted the back here. 
And I had 3,200 gold this whole time. We were all over here, all the way over here, all this other crap. I had 3,200. So what I decided to spend that on is a uh, ZZ Rot. ZZ Rot is going to help us just push out lanes and pressure even harder. Since they have basically the more dominant team comp. Or not dominant team comp. They have a dominant uh, comp when it comes to CC. Because they, they got a lot of CC to stop us and slow us down and just... You know, focus our back line and kill us all. They they really had a uh, had a big chance to win this game. They just I don't know what they were thinking. And I guess they just didn't apply their strengths. So uh, yeah, we see Evelyn just pushing this tower. We got a TP coming out, so that's good. Heimerdinger goes AFK at this point in the game. But it's all good because we did get the TP. We got a free kill. What we could have got, or actually no, let's see. We might not have been able to get Baron here. Yeah, pretty much the whole team is topside and is warded. So we couldn't get Baron, but Heimerdinger is AFK. So this is a 4v5 right now. So what we're sure to do at this point to carry this 4v5 is not to do anything stupid. <laughs> really, you just don't want to, like, really what you want to do is try to split your team up and split lanes and push them separately and if you're able to do that just keep on putting pressure you might not be able to stop the Baron but you might just be able to get a turret out of it oh yeah and another thing we're trying to do is death bush that's something else you can do that's something I've been noticing a lot of people do is just death bush <laughs> and it can be pretty effective if you know what you're doing if you time it right you, you know where the enemy junk or enemy team is and where they're gonna be going got the proper vision control you can definitely pick people off like that but this time we, we we just got a little unlucky we thought somebody would run through here but it didn't happen so we're just trying to strategically outplay the enemy with the less people on our team really <laughs> so basically this is the most game changing or game breaking fight ever this is a really good fight for us and we won it basically 3v5 shout out to my team here so what Jana is doing she's focusing down to Evelyn dropped a little bit of damage onto her she sees her up and she flashed the Alistar combo we got twitch auto in people but he is actually front lining he actually took the stun to the face good OC by Jana to knock everybody off of here. Cassiopeia just dropping so much damage right here. Just destroying these guys. And really, <laughs> there's nothing they can really do. They're dishing out so much damage, Cassio and Twitch, that they can't even handle it. They can't get to the back line. And we got me coming in, <laughs> being, being tardy to the party, and it doesn't even matter. Because my, my team really just 3v5 in there. So... Yeah, that's the game right there. That's basically the game. And this dude is still in base. <laughs> so if you guys did enjoy, be sure to subscribe for more videos. Hit that notification bell to know when I'm going to be uploading another one. Because I'm going to be uploading my interesting new dare games or anything you guys can learn from. I want to help you guys get better with this champion. And right now, 7.11 is a good time to be playing him. It's free elo out there. Free elo. Fresh patch too, so nice. And really, the builds—the builds I've been using recently are very effective. Just Skirmisher Cinderhawk is what I recommend for a jungle item on him right now. I don't really, yeah, and I, I go with Phoenix, and I, I rarely get points in the Tiger nowadays. You know, it's usually just how I'm feeling if I want to go Tiger or not, or what exactly I want to build. How I want to do stuff, and this Ash is doing so much freaking damage, but she misses every single damn arrow. So does it even matter? <laughs> Jeez, man! Another free Drake for us. We finally got the gold lead again, or we finally got the gold lead. I think we've had it for a while now, but at first we were just down very early. So this is really just how to. Carry a 4v5. I had to focus on just winning the game from objectives and not kills, really, is what I'm doing. I'm not prioritizing kills at all this game. I'm just trying to pressure, get turrets, and snowball myself in my own lead and get a lot of levels and 
be able to dominate the enemy team. And I can just really, I can 1v1 anybody with this build. It was really good buy to get this Warden's Mail as well, because of Ash getting a little bit of damage now. But since Heimerdinger finally came back from being DC, we just decide to group mid and drive it down and get all these towers. There's literally nothing they can do at this point. You can see they just start throwing themselves at us. I think the arrow. Yeah, they just start <laughs> running right into us. And I guess they know the game is over. This is definitely over. <laughs> and I kill Ash. So, yeah, new videos are gonna be coming momentarily here. I don't even know how to how I'm talking here. But just be sure to show support on this one. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything about this video, the guide, channel, whatnot, drop it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoy it. Peace.